The Lake of the Ozark series is presented by Point View Resort. Crappie Monster. Use promo code Flopping Crappie to receive 20% off. Mad Fishing. The Button. The Dual Digital Fish Counter. And by ACC Crappie Sticks. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is uh, it's a little chilly this morning on Lake of the Ozarks. Uh, just left my resort, Point View Resort right there. I was actually doing a little dock fishing in their heated uh, dock fishing area. Because it was like 14 degrees when I woke up this morning. It's about 10 o'clock right now. It warmed up to a balmy 19 degrees. And we're gonna make a little run up the Osage River. Uh, try to find some of these bigger crappie that I've been catching pretty much all week with Kyler Beckman. I'm not gonna run as far up as we were fishing last time, but I need to test out this guy right here. This is the crappie monster net. Brand spanking new. I'm loving the actual net itself. It's like a, uh, I think it's just a rubbery. It's like a rubbery. It's kind of like for you trout fishermen out there, it's like that rubbery catch and release style net. Your hook, hooks are not gonna get snagged in it like the mesh. I have a couple mesh nets and the hooks just get, oh, it's, it's a pain in the butt. Today's mission is spider rigging for some suspended crappie. I'm gonna walk through how I'm finding them on the side imaging. Uh, they are just suspended all over these creek channels and in these coves and it pretty much unless you have live scope the only effective way to fish for them is spider rigging uh, you might be able to long line i do have live scope so i will find i'll show you another way to actually pinpoint these fish but um, if you don't have live scope spider rigging is the way to go i got my 16 foot acc is all rigged up ready to go all right we're gonna make a little run here up the osage get on some fish That was a cold run. Scan through this. The crappie have been sitting. I've been finding them anywhere between nine to about 15 feet of water. And uh, they're just in the middle of these creek channels. All right, well, we found our little spot here. I'm gonna show you on the live scope. There's probably a little bit of glare, but I've already caught actually two pretty nice ones. Um, I wasn't filming, I was just actually gonna try to find these fish before I actually turn the cameras on. But, uh, yeah, that's a, it's, it's a pretty nice, pretty nice crappie to start the day, I'd say. So, I did have to use the net to get him though. I was not hoisting him. He's probably, he, he's probably pushing that pound and three quarters mark, so. See if we can uh, get on some more. Here's the setup. I have three 16 foot ACCs. I'm running, uh, it's a 500 size spinning reel. This is the Honor XT 1000 size, and that is the Viper 1000 size. Running uh, six pound mono, tied on some Crappie Monster, uh, the small fry chartreuse uh, green apple and uh, the monster milk those have been the colors that these crappie have been hammering so there they are yeah they are super scattered right now super scattered Not at that time top jig All I'm doing is trolling the edge of this creek channel, anywhere between 15 to 30 feet of water. These crappie were suspended out in the middle of this creek channel, and I'm just trying to put these jigs on the spider rig right in front of their nose uh, and trying to find the right speed that they want to strike at. Where are you big ones at? I see them on the screen. They're just not coming up to hit. Ah, this wind's starting to pick up. I don't like this at all. 
big crappie too. Oh, big one staring at something. There he is. That's a good fish. Oh no, it's got the dink. There was one big one staring at it. I mean, he's a keeper, but there was a bigger fish staring at it. Yes, as you can see, this is not the T-bar setup you want. Uh, unfortunately, the T-bar setup that I was expecting didn't quite get here in time. Um, so I got this cheap $40 piece of crap. It, uh, I mean, it holds rods. That's about it. All right, I'm gonna single pull it. Since I got the live scope, I'm just gonna single pull. Pound and a quarter, I'm gonna guess. There we go. He wasn't as big as the first one that hit, but that's a solid crappie right there. Solid Lake of the Ozarks fish. All right, what do we got here? Oh. That was a little heavy. Pound. One pound. Yeah, one pound even. Still a solid fish for Lake of the Ozarks. I thought it was going to be a pound and a half or, or a pound and a quarter. See, that's what I love about the net. Hook did not get stuck in it like those mesh nets. Those mesh nets, they get the barbs get caught in there and it's a pain in the but to get them out. Let's just go like that with you. All right, let's go try to live scope another one of these puppies. There's a good one, I think. No, top jig. Whenever they hit that top jig, it always feels like they're bigger than they are. Chartreuse is that color. That's a decent one. Yeah, that's a good fish. Another pounder, I think. There we go. Another pounder right there, I bet. Throw him on the scale. Wherever I put the scale. Fourteen and a half ounces. Two ounces shy of a pound. Good eater though. I've been live scoping some pretty darn good crappie. I've missed probably two two fish that would would definitely gone over that pound and a half mark. There aren't very many two pound crappie in the Lake of the Ozarks. So to get something between pound and a half to two pounds, that's a, it's a pretty good fish. It's a really good fish. Oh, there's a big one down there. I wish I could record my live scope. I got to upgrade to that GPS map. There he is, yup. That's a good one too. Yup. This guy's fighting like crazy. He's fighting like mad. Ah, he's probably just shot a pound. Okay. Oh, wanted the bigger one down. Going with a double jig quarter ounce setup. Helps me get these jigs down to those depths. I'm, normally we've been fishing pretty shallow throughout most of the year, throughout most of the week here less than 15 feet but some of these crappie on these deeper creeks have pushed out into that 25 30 foot mark choking those small fry down uh, he's he's a keeper but he's probably just under that pound mark I'm gonna guess probably 12 13 ounces well that last one was 14 zero that puppy out See what this guy is. He's about 10 ounces. Still a solid eater. There's one. Ooh, this guy's fighting mad. 
Now he's one of those, he's a good keeper, but man, they like to fight. They like to fight today. He'd be a good keeper. That's a good one. Yeah, this is gonna be another net. Oh my goodness. That's a tank. That is a tank. Wow. Oh, and he just spit up a giant shad. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. Lake of the Ozarks. This is uh, it's another one of those pound and a halfers, I'm pretty sure. Absolutely hammered it. There it is. I'm gonna throw him on the bump board real quick. I'm gonna weigh him. Oh. 13 and a quarter. Almost just shy of 13 and a half. 13, just shy of 13 and a half right there. Oh. Lake of the Ozark giant. All right, let's see what we got here. One pound, one pound, one pound, just one pound five ounces. Just over a pound and a quarter. Awesome fish. All right, let's see if we can scope another one out. I'd like to get a limit by the end of the day. This net though, I'm glad Crappie Monster one with this is plastic. Um, it's like a stretchy rubber plastic. I can't remember exactly what it's made out of, but instead of that mesh. Sometimes they go with a coated mesh too, but even that, the plastic or the rubbery part wears away on that mesh and your hooks get caught in that dang thing. So I'm glad they went with that. Awesome net. You can check it out at crappiemonster.com. Also, you can save 20% off. This, I think the net retails for $99.99. You can save yourself 20 bucks by using promo code flopping crappie. Yeah, 20 bucks. You can buy that net for $79.99. I think that's what they retail at. Oh, there's a good fish, good fish. That's a big fish, come on, hit it. Oh, I don't think that's him. He's just still a solid fish, but that is not the one I wanted. The little one shot up and hit the top jig. This is still a solid fish. I bet he goes a pound. No, uh, probably just under. I bet he goes just under a pound. Not what I want, but it is another keep for the box. And they are hammering this stuff. They're inhaling these chartreuse baits. Oh, he turned on it. Come on. Yep, that's a good one. I'm gonna need a net for that. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's another good fish. Oh no! <laughs> God dang it. Hook popped out right as I got into the surface. Well, that was very disappointing because that was a good fish. There's another one. Thankfully, the wind started to calm down so I can actually stay on these fish and slowly approach them. Yeah, that's a good one. That's not as big as I thought, but he bit, he bit it. Feels decent too. It's a quality, 
eater, but he's not the big one that we were chasing. Man, they are just inhaling these baits. It's a quality eater. Going for one, one more big one, and then we're gonna be done for the day. I got about a 30 minute run back, so. Ooh. Oh, that's a big fish. Big, big, big fish. Please be one fish. If it's one fish, that is a big fish. Oh, it's looking, wait. Oh, that's a, that's, I think it's one fish. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yep, that's a big fish. That's a big crappie. Stay on there, buddy. Oh, what's it caught in? Caught in the boat cleat. Oh, yes. That's the one we came to finish with. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is the crappie I wanted to film, finish this video with. Right there. Oh, that one died. <laughs> that is the Lake of the Ozarks crappie I wanted to finish the video with. Thank goodness for the net. I don't know if I would have got him in. What we got? One pound, five ounces. Pound and a quarter. Solid Lake of the Ozarks fish. Love it. See how easy that is to get out? Oh, and I just threw it in my jerk bait. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It got a little windy for the spider rig setup. I used 16 footers, ACC. Um, it got a little windy. My trolling motor is really underpowered, so went with the 10 foot rear seat. Turns out the 10 foot rear seat is turning into one of my favorite single pole jig rods. Uh, they got the 12 footer came out for specifically for the live scope, um, but the 10 footer so well balanced. And uh, got these guys, pound and a quarter and a pound and a half or because, well, I should have extended it for the one. because Oh no! Oh. I did lose it. I did lose one decent fish. All you gotta do, it's a two piece setup. You just gotta unscrew. My hands are all slimy from the crappie. Ah. Hands were all slimy from the crappie, but it's real simple. All you gotta do, just unscrew it, extends out. There you go. This is what I should have done. I should have used the extension piece. I would have been able to uh, boat that one of those bigger crappie that got off. I'm so glad they went. Jeremy, I talked to Jeremy, who's the owner of Crappie Monster. I'm so glad he went with this style of netting. I have a Fraybill style, like it's a fold out mesh netting. It fits nice in the compartment, but when you get a hook in it, oh my goodness, it is an absolute nightmare to try to get those hooks out. This is so simple. Um, I didn't get a single hook stuck in this at all today. Great job, Crappie Monster, making sure that netting is hookless because uh, getting these guys, big quarter ounce, quarter ounce hooks like that, stuck in some mesh netting, it's a pain to get out. But today the secret was chartreuse. It was a, I got white jig and a chartreuse jig. All right, so for my top jig, this is called the dew drop. This is the chartreuse and pearl. Uh, I'll show some screenshots. Huge thank you for Crappie Monster for sponsoring part of this trip. Uh, for those of you who don't know, you can save 20% off their baits by using promo code Flopping Crappie. If you want to get that net and you want to save 20%, use promo code Flopping Crappie. All one word, all caps. Get yourself a brand new net. All right, sun's going down. I got about a 30 minute run back to the resort, so. Appreciate you watching as always. If you got any comments or questions, you can post them in the comment section below. Otherwise, you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram and I'll get back to you. If you're new here, be sure to click that subscribe button. Click that bell so you get notified every time I post a video. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. We'll see ya.